Supernatural Season 11, Episode 4, Baby. Now, this episode premiered during a really weird week for me, which is why this review is up so much later than it normally is, because for, I think Supernatural is one of the shows where, no matter what's happening, I will skip pretty much any show and review Supernatural as fast as I can, and that's actually exactly what I'm doing. I have, like, a bunch of shows that I watch pretty much at all of my shows, but I was like, I want to review Supernatural. And for one, it's because it's my favorite show. And two, it's because this is one of my favorite episodes that the show has ever had. And honestly, I, it, I just love this entire thing. Like, I was really wondering, how is this episode going to work? I was a bit cautious, admittedly, because I'd heard that it was either from the scene or from the angle of Baby, like, inside of the car the whole time. Or, you know, if Baby was in a shot, you know, the whole thing. That's, you know, not as much. That just means they're probably outside all the time. So that wouldn't be that different. But with it being inside of Baby the entire episode, I was like, I wonder how this is going to play out. And I love this episode. Um, just to start off, I love the fact that we got to hear Chuck again. That was actually pretty cool. It wasn't any new dialogue, technically. But it was still cool to hear it. I thought that was actually pretty awesome. I don't believe that was new. I'm pretty sure that was, like, one of the first things they had him say when he was, like, introduced in the show. Um, or maybe it wasn't, I think it was one of the first things he was talking about the car, but it probably wasn't like the first thing. But that was still cool to hear him say that, that was pretty awesome when we got, you know, um, the opening scene, which is sort of the little flash forward with Dean in the car, and we got to see like the Legos and stuff, I was like, that's really cool. And just this amazing vehicle that's been, you know, a part of the series, it really is one of the characters of the series, and we've seen this car get hit, we've seen this car get just all sorts of devastation which that was definitely one of the things about this episode they haven't destroyed baby like this since like maybe season two when i think i think or season one i think the first season it ended on a cliffhanger when they got hit by an 18 wheeler i'm pretty sure that was how that first season ended and since then we've had that and then there was one other time and i can't remember what happened to the car but that was when dean basically had to rebuild baby the whole time and I never forgot that because it started off where he, it looked like he was standing up and the car was flipped over and then they flipped the camera. I was like, oh, that's a cool thing. I always love when they do that. And then he said to Bobby, like, you know, if this hunting thing doesn't work out, I should, you know, I could always fall back on being a mechanic. And I don't know why in my head that that's, that was a moment in Supernatural that's always stuck in my brain. But for some reason, that scene always did. So those were like the two moments I really think of Baby, like, just completely getting destroyed, and this was number three, like, just left and right, like, by the end, which, it was kind of funny, by the end, it was only one half of the car, and I guess technically the front and back window, but, like, when they got in the car, Sam's side was like, oh, there's some blood over here, and then you look on Dean's side, it's just, like, shattered glass, and it's just destroyed behind him, it's destroyed in front of him, like, the front window is gone, the front of the car was just devastated because they hit the barrier. I was like, oh, and that kind of hurt me a little. I was like, I don't want them to destroy this car. But, you know, it'll be back and beautiful in the next episode. But it was really amazing. Like, we got to see a side of the characters we really don't see often enough, I think. And it's, it was, you know, the sort of typical flair of the episode where we got a lot of the jokes and stuff like that. And I was wondering, of course, like I said, how is this going to play out? Because we didn't see... Like, I still would love an alternate version of this episode where we get to see them go in the police station because there's something that happened that makes them call the guy Deputy Dumbass. And I want to know what that is. Like, they go in and they come out as like, you know, it's Deputy Dumbass and that's it. And I'm like, there's, there's something in there that I know would be awesome to see. So I would still love an alternate version of this episode that's like a normal one. But the way it was done was really cool. And it's like, okay. So we kind of skip past all the normal stuff where they go in and do the investigation. And we get the in-between stuff. We get, it's almost like a comic book kind of in reverse, but in a good way because even the stuff you don't normally see is still very entertaining. And we have Sam and Dean just being brothers. You know, they go to the strip club. Basically, Dean's like, all right, you know, I'm going in. Sam's like, you go ahead. Dusk till dawn. Then Dean comes out. That is what I need to happen right now, of course. But Dean comes out and, like, he's uh, he's partying the whole time. It's like, I can't believe he just did that. 
And then there's this random woman in the back, and Sam has a one-night stand, which we haven't seen Sam, like, with any woman in quite a while. Like, every time Sam is with someone, it's because Dean is dead. Like, if Dean dies, Sam is banging somebody. That's pretty much how the series is gone. So this is one of the few times where that's been a little bit different. And he was, like, even flirting with a girl at the end of the episode, which I was, um... It was just interesting, because we don't ever see Sam really do that, and Sam is still the one who kind of doesn't, but I, I remember uh, when it first happened, and he said that one girl's name, and it was like the wrong name. Um, I believe it was when Dean got pulled out of hell uh, by Cass, and it was just like, he called it the wrong name, it was like, oh, Sam is kind of in the sort of Dean role where he doesn't do the relationship stuff, which obviously changed in the uh, most recent you know couple of seasons where he had a relationship when he stopped looking for Dean, which obviously that fell apart too. But it was interesting, like him going back to just sleeping with women and stuff like that. But, you know, we get Night Moves, which is actually a good song. And it was just really funny, and they're singing off key and stuff. Then we have uh, the scene with Sam in the car where he has like a vision, which may or may not have been God. Still just throwing that out there. I have no idea, but it was an awesome scene. Um, I wish we could get Jeffrey Dean Morgan back. We never get to see him come back as the father. Like, we never get to see, you know, our original father Winchester. It's like, we always get the young version. And it's like, that kind of sucks. I would love to see Jeffrey Dean Morgan come back into the show. Because I, I like him as an actor. He was, you know, definitely great in the first couple of seasons. And it would it would just be fun to see him come back, even if it was, like, just a small-time thing. But it's like, he's... He just never seemed to be able to. So I was like, that kind of sucks. But it was still an awesome scene. And like I said, who knows if that was God or what the deal was with that. But it's very exciting. The whole case for this episode, which of course turned out to be something. Because every time it's probably nothing, it's always something. It's literally never been nothing. Even whether they say that or not, it's the case. It's something and then it's craziness. And every time they say that, and I love that they even talk about it. This was, I think, the first time they ever actually talked about it. And it was, they didn't even discuss it. It was just like, yeah, probably nothing, hi. And then they laugh and get in the car, and that's the end of the episode. But they always say that. It's like, well, it's probably nothing. All right, you know, I'm, I'm going to go ahead. It's probably nothing. You can just meet me there. And then I think pretty much every time they do that, it's either, like, werewolves or vampires or something like that. Something you got to decapitate typically comes from the, eh, probably nothing you know, storyline stuff. And so, of course, sheer madness, we get, you know, the ghoul pyres, which were pretty awesome. I love them. I know that's not the name we ended with, but it was still ghoul pyre, were pyre, all the names were pretty cool. Um, and they were crazy good enemies. I actually really loved them. They, you know, it's Sam and Dean, so they, of course, were able to do it. But it was pretty awesome. I loved the way that these were just, like, some of the most insane things we've ever seen. Their heads get chopped off. They're affected by silver, like they got slowed down, but then they got up, and that was definitely one of my favorite scenes. We have like the whole action scene outside of the car, and Cass apparently doesn't pay attention when people say hold on, because he just kept talking every single time, and it was just really funny. Like he said, like Dean's like, you know, hold on, or like, I'll be right back. A little nudge happens, and then Cass is like, well, according to this, and he just keeps going, and it's like, didn't he hear what Dean just said? And I, I thought that was funny. And then, of course, we have just the crazy action scene where it was like eight different steps it seemed Dean had to take. He shoots him, then he chopped the head off, and then it's like, all right, he like destroyed the body. He's like, all right, this, and then he heard the head, and he's like, okay, that. And it was just a great little scene. I just love the way that it was done. And then we kind of had that a second time with Dean. And that was, I love the action in this because I sort of, I love when they do... Um, like choreographed fights in like really really uh, tight knit spaces. I always think that's very entertaining, and it definitely was. Especially the second fight where Dean was fighting you know two on one. I love that scene because he was going back and forth. Like he would kick the one guy, then the woman would get up. She you know she was knocked out, and then she got up and was choking him. So he kicked the guy to the ground. Then he's fighting her in the car. Then he like beats her and she's passed out. Then he has to get the guy and he uh, shoves the pennies in his mouth, slams his head off. And it's just, like, sheer insanity, like, the whole thing is just, like, finally this is done, and the woman gets cured, and everyone's, you know, fortunately fine, because you kill, um, 
the main one and everyone turns human, which I thought was very interesting. I don't think we've had any creatures like that in the show before, so I thought that was also very cool. But this is a great episode. I love the comedy in it. I loved, you know, just sort of the drama we got. I love the um, sequence where they're in the car and they're talking about their dreams and Dean talks about how he dreams of having, um, like, you know, training with his dad and getting driving lessons and Sam's in the back seat. And then it's just a normal life for them. And Sam sort of has the same dream, but about his mother. And I just thought that was interesting because it just kind of shows, like, okay, obviously we know Dean takes after his father, Sam takes after his mother. Just personality-wise, you know, kind of nice and maybe not so nice sometimes. <laughs> so I thought that was actually really cool. I love that scene. And then just kind of figuring things out, like, what if, you know, this is happening... Sam actually admits that he was infected, and he tells Dean, like, I prayed to God, and stuff like that. And Dean wasn't nearly as mad as I thought he would be, because, of course, this whole, the past couple episodes, after they were like, no more secrets, it was just like, oh, deal with Rowena, or, you know, other secrets that still weren't revealed that we knew. And this was definitely, probably the biggest one, I'd say, because, of course, Sam almost died. And then it was like, you know, I figured it out. And I also happened to pray to God, and I got these crazy visions. So Dean kind of passed it off. I was surprised that it was um, so nonchalant that he was kind of... He was a little mad, but at the end, it was just like... You know, he was kind of just thinking, like, I don't want you to get your hopes up that God, of all people, is going to come in and help us out. It's probably just some side effect of, you know, this um, infection, which... I think is always their answer is like, oh, it's probably just a side effect, and it, it's just like, it's probably nothing. It's never a side effect, it's never nothing, but they just have, the, they're set in their way sometimes, and it's kind of, it's still entertaining to watch. But this is a great episode, it's definitely, it's one of my favorites. I never really rank episodes, I always just like, this episode's really fun, but something about this one was just amazing to me, like, I love the action, like, the enclosed spaces, um... Just the way, you know, the way they did it where every shot was inside the car, which is really interesting. It also forced them to do camera angles we never see in this show. We don't get, like, close-ups of Dean driving, which was, he did a really badass um, 180 turn in the car, and that was full-on Dean um, doing that move. I was like, that was really freaking sweet. So it was cool that he was able to pull that off, like Jensen Ackles just 180 that. So that was actually pretty badass. Um, I just, you know, just a lot of the different shots were definitely pretty cool. I think we had, obviously it was a very unique episode, and it just wasn't something I was expecting. I was, like, going in, I was, like, like I said, really, really cautious. Like, this is supernatural. I'm sure I'll like it. But some episodes, like, um, I think the perfect example for them doing something out of the ordinary is sort of the found footage thing they did with the werewolf. I think that was like two seasons or maybe three seasons ago. And that episode wasn't exactly the best. I didn't enjoy that one nearly as much as I enjoyed this one. That was like, okay. I mean, that's totally different because this was like, alright, so this one we're in the car and it's like, okay, we see, uh, you know, they fade time and stuff like that. It's night to dawn and stuff like that. But it's still at least Sam and Dean. That was kind of just like... A bunch of other characters, and it was like Sam and Dean were in like maybe three or four shots in that whole episode, to be totally honest. So, that was, you know, that's the only example I can really think of, which is why it's the best example, but it's still not the best example, I guess. But I love this episode. It was definitely fun to watch. I like getting to see the side of the characters that we, we know are there, but considering they deal with the stuff they deal with, with you know, the darkness, and angels, and demons, and angels fighting angels, and demons fighting demons, and all this other craziness, not every episode can be spent just with Sam and Dean, or with Baby, so I certainly love this episode, it was definitely an amazing one, I'm curious now if they'll ever kind of go back to an episode like this, it obviously couldn't be exactly the same, because... And, and it wouldn't. It could easily be an episode where the whole thing is, like, the main story. I don't know how they pull that one off, because I guess they would technically have to have it where the villains got in the car, which they could have done, I guess, technically in the last episode. It's like, okay, you know, half of the story, at least, they 
they even have Rowena in the car. So, some stuff they could do, but I don't know. This episode just kind of hit me. It was like, I love everything that happened. I like the music. I always like the music, but, you know, it started off really funny, but it's also just one of those songs. Like, Night Moves is just one of those songs where it's like, it's just one of those sort of soothing songs, and it's just really fun. And it's just like, man, something about this is just really good. And I love that the ending scene, like every episode or every scene in this episode was inside the car until the very end. And we get to see all of the all of the destruction, the windows blown out, the front just being absolutely devastated. And it's still just, it's Sam, Dean, and Baby. And they're, you know, just riding off and Night Moves is playing. And it was just a great end. And I love that during the very end, they cut the music and it's just the engine running on the car. I was like, that's really cool. And then it was obviously a focus during two very important moments when the car was basically destroyed. And, you know, it started up still. And it was just like, this is a really cool thing. It's just like such a minor idea or important thing to kind of add to an episode. But then it kind of makes you think, like, it really is. It's baby. Like, it's obviously like one of the most badass cars ever it's one of the tv cars you know in history like there aren't that many but it's still one of them and it's one of the most badass ones and so it's like it just brings attention to something that normally doesn't have much attention brought to it and it was just a really great episode i know i've said that like a million times but i really love this episode there's not too much to say about it but it was just like man this was a great episode and it really surprised me because I was so cautious going in. Like, I knew I'd be okay. But I didn't know I would just be, like, blown away by this episode. And I really, really was. So, of course, I want to know what you guys thought. So, please, comment below. Let me know your favorite parts, your least favorite parts. And I really just want to know what you guys thought about this episode. There isn't really a specific moment or anything. Or, I guess, you know, favorite moments, least favorite moments. But no real specific question for this one. Just... You know, I guess, what are some of your favorite moments of Baby throughout the series? Like, for me, some of the most memorable moments are really, like, the times they, like, destroyed the car. And those aren't the best moments of the car. But, like I said, like, just the car getting hit or uh, the scene with Dean in the car fixing it and they did, like, the flip upside down. I really don't know. Like, I know why that stuck out in my head because, I, you know, it was a little camera trick and I always liked that for some reason. But, like, the line that he says, like, the whole hunting and becoming a mechanic, like, for some reason, when I first heard that, which was years ago now, I'm pretty sure that was, like, season four or something that couldn't have been past season five. I'm pretty sure that was, like, season three. It may have been the second season, actually, or, like, after the car got hit. And it was just, like, for some reason, that stuck in my head forever. I don't know why, but it did. But I want to know what you guys think. I wish I had my little model. I had, I just got like a little uh, model of baby from Loot Crate, and I, I wish I had that now. But anime convention weekend weird stuff. Even if I had the time, I would have just done the review early, so I sadly wouldn't have had the car for the review. It would have been the perfect episode too. But love this episode. Like I said, I want to know what you guys thought about it. So please comment below. Let me know. And thanks for watching.